In our rapidly evolving world, success is defined by turning challenges into opportunities. With enough foresight and ingenuity, the complex problems of today can become the achievements of tomorrow. I'm Fred Thompson. From business and technology to healthcare and the environment, join me as we take a closer look inside the workings of the modern global economy. Welcome to Inside Business. I'm Fred Thompson, and I'm Inside Business. Technology is the engine of human progress, but building a better world increasingly means developing innovative ways to help preserve it. Let's take a look at the evolution of green technology. It has become one of the most valuable commodities in the world today, yet the very use of it may cause irreparable harm to the planet. It is energy and how efficiently or inefficiently it is consumed has become a primary focus for many governments and industries worldwide. According to um, the Energy International Administration uh, outlook for 2009, uh, the world market's uh, uh, usage from 2006 to 2030 uh, will increase minimum of 44 uh, percent. This uh, substantial cost and increase will uh, uh, affect not only the manufacturers in the United States, but all the municipalities as well as the nation's electrical grid. Experts say the current costs and future cost projections for energy point strongly in the direction of change for the heating, ventilating, air conditioning and refrigeration, as well as the water and wastewater industries. Our heating, air conditioning and refrigeration industry is faced with three challenges in today's world. The first challenge is the ever-increasing cost of energy, being electrical power and fuel to heat energy to cool buildings. The second challenge is the increasing population base here in the United States. The third area that's the biggest challenge for our industry is the cost involved in developing new products and energy efficient equipment. These changes come at a time when much of the existing infrastructure within the HVACR and water and wastewater industries is reaching the end of its practical operating life. For 2009, the American Society of Civil Engineers gave the U.S. a grade of D for its infrastructure. We're a little behind the eight ball right now. For the next 20 to 30 years, we're going to have to improve the infrastructure, both from a utility standpoint and from an energy standpoint improving the bottom line while also protecting the environment. Some would consider this a significant challenge. But according to officials at Velo USA, the solution is in the company's Thomasville, Georgia plant, where energy efficient mixers and pumps are manufactured and tested. Velo USA is a subsidiary of Velo SE located in Dortmund, Germany. Uh, we manufacture uh, pumps for water supply, water systems, air conditioning uh, technology as well as water and wastewater pumps and mixers. For pumps to work efficiently, they need to have what the company calls pump and intelligence. Essentially, the pumps need smart technology. In every home that requires heat in a hot water applications, there's a residential circulator. There's one in the basement of your house right now. We estimate there's 15 million of these in the United States operating right now consuming the equivalent power that it takes to run half a million homes for a month. With proper ECM technology, we can reduce that energy consumption by two-thirds and also reduce 1,500 tons of carbon emissions into our atmosphere. Aside from their use in HVAC systems to heat and cool buildings, the company's pumping technologies have applications in municipal water supply plants. Velo supplies pumps that maintain pressure in city uh, water systems. Additionally, we provide uh, wastewater pumps for both the collection system and for treatment plants. Uh, in treatment plants, we specialize in uh, submersible mixers. That technology is used both in municipal and industrial wastewater treatment plants. As the HVACR and water and wastewater industries head for dramatic change over the next few years, Velo company officials say they're ready to meet the demand. Being relatively new to the pump market is probably one of the reasons you're, you're not aware of us. Uh, doing so in 2005, we brought in the technology that Velo developed in Europe for a number of years. And as the uh, cost has increased here in the United States, it has raised the visibility of Velo and Velo's high efficient product. 